Hello, welcome to video 18, where we are going to filter out some outliers. So if you don't know what an outlier is, an outlier is a number that can be positive or negative, and it generally exists outside the sort of average range of your data. So it could be, a good example would be e-commerce. So the average spend is 50 pounds and then somebody comes and spends 200 or equally somebody comes and spends five those things are those uh, payments are usually outliers and don't happen very often and particularly if we want to do machine learning we're going to want to remove outliers so it doesn't skew our predictions in the future so let's get started again as always import pandas load your data uh, info it describe it head it shape it and then you understand what the data is. Um, in this case, we're gonna look at rating count like we did the last time. So this is the number of ratings that an app has. So we'll go numeric equal play dot rating count. We'll keep, create a little object for that. There we go. And next, we're just gonna look at the mean of that. So it's about 10,000. So let's say we want to filter out anything that is greater than 15,000 uh, ratings. We do this by saying, Okay, give us this object and then look in that object for everything that's under 15,000. And what it does is it gives us a little output where none of the values are above 15,000 or equal to 15,000. So it'd be 14,999, essentially, is what is the highest one you would find. Let's say you would want to do this across an entire data frame of just the numbers in the data frame. First thing you would need to do is select only the numerical data, which there's a great function in pandas for this called select underscore D type. And it basically, it will allow you to only see numerical data if you select numerical data. So in this case, we're feeding it a list and the list is float. So anything with a decimal point, an integer, any solid number. And then we're gonna look at what output we get from creating that object. There we go. This is our data normally with objects in it and text. And this is our data now, only numerical data. I know this doesn't sound like magic, but it was absolute magic when I discovered it last year because it saved me a lot of time. So now we want to look, we want to filter that data frame um, by anything less than 15,000. So we can do this, we get that back, there we go. And as you can see, if we look here, there's 20,001, it's gone. We've got NAND values in here. We've got NAND, NAND values where, where that's been taken out. So that's why we're using this, dot all. So that's anything that is a positive or a negative number in a column, just just shows everything, everything with that removed. There we go. So we don't have these NAND values hanging around our data set anymore. We've just got, we've just got the, the data frame that we're looking for. So that is basically how you would find a uh, outlier and then just filter it out using simple filters. There are, if you're doing machine learning, tools that do this for you, but it's always handy to be able to know how to do it manually. And that's that. So if you found this video useful, give us a thumbs up. Any questions, comment. I will do my best to answer them. If you want to support the community, subscribe to the channel. And if you just want to go do as a solid share it with your friends, tell people about the, the Data Boy channel and what it's trying to do for marketers. All right, I will see you in video 19. Ciao.